Hello, welcome to Tron Tutorials. My name is Feroz Lakani, and today we are talking about the Tron Link wallet. So first things first, if you're new to cryptocurrencies and blockchain, we're gonna go over the differences between hot wallets and cold wallets, and then we'll get into how to create your own wallet that's compatible with the Tron blockchain. First things first, hot wallets and cold wallets. So the easiest way to remember the difference between these two is a hot wallet is connected to the internet and a cold wallet is not. That is in its simplest terms, the definition between a hot and cold wallet. Now TronLink is a unique wallet software that actually allows you to create hot wallets and cold wallets all in one. Um, it does get a little complicated. You may need a second device to be able to create a cold wallet and then import it into your hot wallet. Um, but it is possible and it's very, very cool. Um, the best part about cold wallets is that they're extremely secure. Since they are not connected to the internet, it is impossible for someone to access your assets without having physical access to your hardware wallet. Hot wallets, on the other hand, can be much more vulnerable to hacks because they are constantly connected to the internet. So if your seed phrase gets lost, um, if there is in any way you are compromised, your wallet is compromised, it does have access to the internet 24 seven, and that makes it much easier for hackers to be able to access your assets. So in my personal experience, having a combination of hot and cold wallets is going to usually be the best solution I tend to keep most of my holdings in cold wallets and just enough to be able to make some purchases or run some transactions in my hot wallet to each their own. If you feel comfortable and confident leaving all of your assets in your hot wallet, that is up to you. Uh, I personally do not recommend that route. So let's go ahead and get into creating a Tron link wallet. So this step is going to be very, very easy. Everything is pretty self-explanatory. We're going to start off by going to the Tron Link website, which is just tronlink, T-R-O-N-L-I-N-K dot org, O-R-G. And here you can see this is uh, what the Tron Link wallet looks like once you have a wallet set up. Um, hopefully you're lucky enough to have that amount of assets in there as well. I'm not quite there, but on my way. Um, so we're going to get into a little bit of what the Tron Link wallet offers. So it is by far the most secure asset management platform on Tron. Um, it is a decentralized wallet. All private keys are stored locally on your device in which you're creating the wallet. Um, it does offer you hot and cold wallets to be able to achieve physical isolation, protect your assets, as well as transfer them and use them when needed through your hot wallet. Some of the features of the Tron Link wallet include supporting all Tron assets, so all assets uh, from TRX, the native token on Tron, to TRC10 tokens, TRC20, as well as TRC721 or NFTs running on Tron. Also, TronLink is extremely convenient, uh, very, very user friendly. You can import wallets with one click. You can scan QR codes. Um, you can import hardware, desktop wallets, um, even ledger wallets via Bluetooth. Um, and one that's not listed here is going to be your, your Samsung blockchain wallet. So if you have a Samsung phone that has a blockchain wallet built in, those are actually also uh, supported by TRX or TRX, the Tron blockchain is supported by the Samsung wallet. Um, and so you can also import that with one click if you're using it on the same device as your Samsung wallet. It's a very, very easy import process. And then again, very easy to manage. Uh, we've got the mobile app browser extension, as well as a desktop wallet, which makes it very, very easy to use. Um, over 10 million users have downloaded the wallet and, and are using the TronLink wallet. So thank you to all of our users. Uh, big shout out to the TronLink team for all of their hard work on the back end of this, uh, creating a wallet that's just very, very easy to use um, and, and a lot of people definitely love. So to download this, um, depending on what device you're using, of course, if you have an Android device, you want to use the Android link, iOS, go to the App Store. And then depending on the browser you're using for Firefox or Chrome, you want to click that, uh, that link. It will take you to that store. And for the Chrome browser, very, very easy. You click Add to Chrome, Add Extension, and everything automatically pretty much installs. So you'll see it download, install, 
I do not need to sync. Um, I will only be using this on this one browser. Now you do want to pin your extension so that it's always there in your bar. Um, before connecting to any dApps, you will need to sign into your wallet prior to connecting with the dApp. Uh, the dApp will not launch your TronLink wallet if it is not already signed in. So make sure you keep that in mind for the future. Um, and here, when we go to create a wallet, as I said, very, very simple process. You literally just want to click create wallet. And then I do recommend going through the terms, the user agreement. Um, this also includes the privacy policy. It is fairly long. I have spent many hours reading every single word of this user agreement. So I'm going to quickly scroll down and agree. Um, but like I said, I know there's a lot here. It's useful if you want to read it. Um, you definitely want to know what you're agreeing to. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and click I agree. Okay, now wallet. We're going to do our Tron Tutorials wallet. Enter a password. Now this password you will need to remember. TronLink will not remember your password. Um, you can save it online. I do not recommend that. For most people, what I generally recommend is saving it on a card of some sort. Um, many hardware wallet manufacturers will give you printed out cards with uh, different lines made for each of your uh, seed phrase words. So if you have something like this, I recommend putting your seed phrase on here as well as your password um, and storing it somewhere secure, somewhere local. Um, and if not, you can always use a notebook, any sort of piece of paper. Um, you know, I, I definitely don't recommend putting it anywhere that's going to be synced to the cloud or online linked to your accounts in any way, shape or form. You do want to keep this password as well as your seed phrase offline. Um, and that's going to be the most secure way to store it. Um, you do want to be careful and make sure you do not lose it because if you do not have your password and or seed phrase and you lose access to your account, nobody will be able to help you access your assets again. So be very, very careful how and where you store this. Do not let other people have access to your seed phrase or your password. If possible, do not upload it anywhere online. Do not send it in an email. Do not upload it to the cloud. Um, that's just my two cents. Of course, everybody has their own risk profile. If you're willing to take the chance, if it makes it more convenient for you, that is your decision. Uh, just not something that I personally would recommend. So for this password, I'm going to create a super secure password. Boom. I'm gonna try this again. Wallet created. Awesome. Now, I'm going to enter my password, make sure I remember it because I just made it. Yay. And we're going to click backup. And remember, physical. I always want to keep my secure passwords, my mnemonic phrases, everything on a physical piece of paper, a physical card, a notebook, something that I will be able to access myself if I need to re import this wallet, but not something that a, uh, a bad actor or a stranger can hack into my accounts and find online to be able to steal my assets. I, mean, I want to make sure that's not possible. So I never, ever, ever want to put these phrases online anywhere. I'm going to click backup. And so you guys can go ahead and import my wallet if you'd like. Once you see these phrases, I, there will not be anything in there. Uh, but you want to make sure that you write them in order because otherwise they will not work in any follow-up wallet when you try to uh, import. So I'm gonna give me just a few minutes. I'm going to write these down to make sure I remember them. Cool. Now it's backed up. Word number six. Boom. Word number five. Boom. Word number one, boom. And we are verified. And there we go. So it's that simple. Now we've created a hot wallet. You can go ahead and send yourself TRX into this wallet. You can also purchase TRX if you'd like. Um, there are different ways to be able to uh, add assets to this wallet. 
you can receive if somebody else is sending them to you uh, you can also purchase so if we want to go to SunSwap I'm going to click connect wallet and since we are already signed into the wallet it should connect automatically it's going to ask us to sign the transaction it's our Tron Tutorials wallet we've got zero TRX we want to connect boom there we go thank you for watching this episode of Tron DAO Tutorials we hope you were able to learn something new to learn more about the Tron ecosystem visit trondao.org or join in on the conversation at forum.trondao.org once again I'm Feroz Lakani, and I hope to see you on the next episode of Tron Dao Tutorials.